My name is Lord of Puzzle, and this is Media Delta. Hello, and welcome to another episode of Media Delta. Um, we have a, I guess, big one this time because this is a very notable release, um, especially in regards to kind of what the subject of this podcast is. If we're talking about movies based on video games and TV shows based on video games, this is kind of a big one because it's kind of, I don't want to say a tentpole example of what people usually think of when they think of, you know, video game movies. Uh, it's definitely one of them, uh, if not one of the bigger ones, because this is a, um, this was a movie that actually had a, um, Impact on how the company that made or that, well, how Nintendo actually did movies going forward, because we're actually taking a look at the Super Mario Brothers movie, the 1993 action comedy film, as Wikipedia describes it, um, starring Bob Hoskins and John Leguizamo. John Leguizamo. Wait, it was supposed to be funny. <laughs> I guess there's also some action in there. Yeah, theoretically, <laughs> sometimes um, uh, this one is a notorious film because uh, it is commonly brought up when you think of bad video game movies. This is usually brought up, um, but I had heard some heard things about the people that have watched it recently and they're like, oh, hey, it actually isn't as bad as people make it out to be. Uh, and I agree with that statement. However, to the extent uh, we'll go over. <laughs> Um, as we are discussing this, because I'm sure uh, people here have thoughts on this movie. Um, a couple. Yeah. Um, so just to give a disclaimer for this, another reason why I was kind of interested in doing this movie, because I originally was trying to put this off as much as possible because I knew that it was a not great experience watching again, but um, there was, um, I believe... I think it was around June of uh, 2021. Um, there was a quote unquote fan remake of this movie uh, that has been referred to as the Morton Jingle Cut, which is based off of the two directors of this movie uh, that are um, Rocky Morton and Annabelle, Annabelle Jankle. Jankle. It was at a weird angle. I couldn't quite see it. Um, that... Apparently, the people who made this cut uh, found a whole ton of work print cuts of this movie on VHS tapes and basically compared all the VHS tapes together and spliced out the exclusive footage from each of those with the either VHS original VHS release or the blue or DVD release of it and made a extended cut of this movie, uh, which adds 20, 20 more minutes to this movie. Of absolutely what? nothing. Oh, it's it's. Worthless. I thought it was miserably long at like an hour forty four or whatever that my copy was at. I'm like, you sat through another twenty minutes. Holy and shit! And it added nothing. Yeah, Holy no shit. Yeah, like it, one really long protracted dance scene. Like to, 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 I mean, we're gonna have to talk oh about the God. movie in whole, but to just get it out of the way, there maybe two to three second splices that either uh, like have an, a more of an establishing shot or maybe a bit of dialogue that was left out and none of it fucking mattered. No, it turns out it was cut for a reason. Uh, uh -huh. Like, this cut is not, I don't think, meant to be a definitive version of the movie. It's just something that's like, it's a preservation thing. It's like, oh, hey, here's this footage that just kind of it existed, but it never made it to any of the other versions. Mm -hmm. Um which was the easiest version for me to find, oddly enough, because it's up. The entire movie is just up on the Internet Archive. Um, and you can like buy Blu-ray and like DVD versions of it. Uh, but pretty much any place I saw, they're either backordered or like way too expensive. Uh, so if you want a legit copy of this, uh, good luck, because it is getting kind of hard to apparently get this because um turns out this doesn't get re-released often because Nintendo Nintendo is not exactly fond of this movie. Uh, I so I wasn't yeah. either. Um so yeah, that's just a little disclaimer about the version that we're watching. Uh because a, a lot of us watched the uh this extended cut. Uh, I know Risen you watched your 
the version that you had, which I'm which I'm going to assume is not this extended cut. No, it is not. It's actually the Rift Tracks of it, edition, which is probably a better way for version of watching this movie. I didn't realize Rift bit. Tracks had done this. Oh, but they've done not they did everything. They did, yeah, they've done pretty much everything. Yeah, because I think Rift Tracks actually started out like as a it, they would do commentary tracks for like commercial movies. Yeah, and then you buy the commentary track and watch along with the movie. Yeah. My yeah, first yeah. one was Roadhouse. Huh. Yeah, they, they also air shit on Twitch too now. Yep. yep. They yeah, have, they have they... a twenty four seven channel on Twitch. Yep. Yep. Um but yes. Interesting. Um, hey, I got a lot of water in my cup. Yeah. Oh. Where'd that come uh, from? I don't know. I don't question it. The Lord uh, works in mysterious ways. Thank you, Zenu. Um, so I forgot what I was going to say, but um, <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, so that version is out there. If you really want to watch it, that's the version that we watched just because wanted to see it. Um, but regardless, we watched this movie. It's kind of notorious. Uh, actually, probably before we go on, we should probably introduce people who are here. So um, please introduce yourselves in alphabetical order. Hi, I'm Axed. I'm here to talk about poorly aged footage of the World Trade Center. Great President Coolio. Where is my pizza? Hi, I'm Risen, and I'm a lousy leader. Hi, I'm Torpid Typist. I'm here to tell you about how I've got the power. What power? That's, that's Transformers. I was going to say, what was that? <laughs> but, um... wasn't, wasn't I've got the power in the extended cut for this? Yes, probably. It was. Yeah. yeah, it was. It was during the protracted, the prolonged dance sequence. You fucking idiots! <laughs> <laughs> I that, that they lengthened of... significantly. I was when more... they were dancing in the Boom Boom Club. Yes. yes. Okay. I was Koopa. more like the Koopas uh... dance. Look, I have selective memory, and you know this. <laughs> the whatever your thing... name is. Yeah, the one thing I just remember of that scene is the walk the dinosaur bit, which was like <laughs> the very end of it. The very end of it. Solid. Um Yeah. So let's just get our like base impressions just done real quick. So uh you know, um since well, since you're kind of essentially our control for this group. Uh, since you just watched the version that you probably should watch. Uh, yeah. Lizzie, what did you think about this movie? It's not a good movie. <laughs> Interesting movie. It's one of those. It's one of those things where, like, um, I have a friend that I, like, will hang out with in person and everything, and I'll be like, hey, you know, come over and check out this shit I found. Check out this fucked up movie I found. And, like, this would be one of them. <laughs> Um, there's a lot of interesting, like, details in, like, the world building and the, you know, kind of the set dressing of everything. Like, the fact that all the cars in the Koopa world are electric because they don't have gasoline because the dinosaurs didn't get turned into petroleum by being buried once they died, right? Uh, that's actually a smart take. And no, I, I never, it isn't, I never thought because of that. how are they generating power? <laughs> Oh, yeah. Um, mm. Water. Um, they're in Brooklyn. There's rivers. Um, uh, but yeah, I mean, it's kind of just like a cute little like, huh, that's why all the cars are shitty bumper cars. Uh, that are just spitting sparks everywhere. Um, I do have to say that, like, it's very much not like the video games it's a very different take on the video games it's interesting that peach isn't there it's daisy um and daniela pauline uh i don't remember her last name but yeah um i don't know it's it's definitely an interesting movie like i said i i would say watch it if you're grimly curious if you've not watched it already otherwise like yeah, don't rewatch it. It's not really worth it. Yeah, that's kind of the gist that um, I kind of figured going into this movie that basically that it wasn't going to be a complete because like this, the especially like when you hear about the stories of production of this movie uh, about the fact that 
if I remember correctly, Bob Hoskins and John Leguizamo were basically plastered the entire time of this movie's creation. Like, this movie's had a very, like, well-documented trash fire of a creation. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, well, I mean, the movie is basically a trash fire, so that, that tracks. Yeah, but it's not, like... I can think definitely think of worse movies, but it's just... It, like... Even at its base, it's an hour 44 minutes long, which is way too long for this movie. Yeah. Uh, adding the extended cut, it is extremely way too long. Um, I had to stop a little bit over halfway through and just do something else because, like, I'm so fucking bored. Even he's um, intensely track. boring. I personally fell asleep for about, like, 10 or 15 minutes during the movie. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> it's, like... It, it's kind of like, well, especially since la- it's compared to the last thing we watched, which was Guy for Dark Hero, um, where that, that was opened, well, that opened strong, but then it had that weird middle part, which was kind of boring. Yeah, which that's kind of like that little bit is basically how this movie, the boring bit from that movie is kind of how this entire first half of this movie felt. This movie meanders mm-hmm. severely. I gotta be honest, I actually liked the middling part of Guyver more than all of this movie. Oh yeah, I can definitely see that. But it's that same kind of feeling like, where's the thi- Like, there should be something here. There's nothing here. Um, just one big city and a whole lot of desert. Yes. It's just a lot of fucking around and then it ends. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Sounds about right. Um... Also, Mario's chemistry was way better for the, with the bouncer lady. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Bertha's great. Um, do you have any other uh, thoughts about that? No, I, I think I said my initial piece. All right. Uh, let's go. Uh, you know what? Let's. Uh, just gonna go in order here. Uh, Coolio, what do you think? Uh, I'm probably a little bit weird on this because I actually like this movie. <laughs> um. It's Damn. I'm not I'm not saying that this is a good movie by any means, but I do enjoy it. It's just kind of weird. And if you don't really think of it as a proper Mario movie, then it kind of gets a little bit better because <laughs> that's basically what this is. This is this is absolutely not a Mario movie, even though that's the name of the movie and the name of the main characters, this isn't a Mario movie. This is just someone took the names of everything in it and made their own movie. It's almost as though they took the Mario franchise, uh, they, they basically used the Mario franchise to make their own movie that they couldn't have made otherwise because they, I, I don't know how much, um, how much influence that either Rocky Morton or Annabelle Jenkel had at this point. I don't know. Maybe, maybe they just wanted to, to make some story and ended up with the Mario license somehow. The general gist that I kind of thought of, like, the way that, like, the person who I, because I had also watched this before in a, uh, like, separate group altogether, uh, and one of the people was kind of, that was kind of selling me on the movie, was describing it as like, yeah, this is a, like, the movie, You if you take everything Mario out of it, it's at least a okay movie. Oh. Um, but oh. the fact that I I don't I I will have I I might have disagreed after watching it again. That mm-hmm. slap the shit out of them, hunt them down, and beat their ass. Like you uh, can't you can't make that argument though, because like if you take out the elements that are in the movie, it becomes a completely different movie. Yeah, which the the thing that I was thinking is like. This very much feels like if you had rebranded this movie as um, kind of like almost like a movie that's like one of those generic video game movies like Free Guy that just came out um, Mm -hmm. where it's just generic video game. I could totally see that, but also it's weird. Like, 
Yeah, you you would de- you definitely have to change some things if uh, you were to make this actually not a Mario movie. Yeah, and and still make some kind of sense, but I don't know. I I still I still think like this. This is a good crap movie. It's just not a good Mario movie by any means. Yeah. Um, hmm? I was going to say, and that's actually something that I think it was Torpo that you brought up, uh, was that what would a good Mario movie even entail? Because we actually have something that's kind of on a comparison about if you want to do a Mario Brothers, like, piece of medium that's not just a game, uh, we have the the great mission to rescue Princess Peach to compare it to. so bad. Yeah, Which, that one also was incredible. Like that one was the bar. Like that was as close to a Mario thing as you can get. And that was also incredibly dry. It's well, because like the Mario franchise is just a bunch of video ass game, video game ass video games, and like that's always what Nintendo's intended them to be from the get go. And they've always been like super plot light and all that, and it doesn't really lend itself well to a movie to begin with. It's. It's like kind of if you think about like the analogy that uh, I know Shigeru Miyamoto brings it, or like when you're they're talking when he's talking about Mario and the gang, like they're essentially characters in a Popeye cartoon. Like mm-hmm. you can put them in something, but you have to have them do something else. If that makes sense, you can't just do it, have them do what they do in the games, because what they're doing in the games is pretty basic because it's just the game is kind of the focus on it. Whereas if you, especially at this point, where if you wanted them to do something like interesting in like a movie or a TV show, you got to have a little bit something extra with it, which yeah. this did not have. I don't fully agree. I, I said it before during, when we watched this, and I'm going to say it again. I think that you could do a good Mario movie if you base it off of one of the RPG games. I still disagree with that because stylistically it relies heavily on their medium specifically. And I, I just cannot imagine like a Paper Mario working well outside of you know, its own and, little. Well, not even Paper. Well, not well, just Paper Mario. You got Mario, Superstar but, Saga. Yeah, you have got Bowser's Inside Story. I mean, there's a number of RPGs that have interesting stories and events that you could put into a movie. I guess this is my bias showing because I don't like yeah. the Superstar Saga games, which is I don't fair. Like Mario RPG at all? Which is <laughs> which is fair. Which is fine, but it's a, like the point is like. You have to have them do something else. You can't just say, hey, it's the stuff that's in Super Mario World or it's the stuff that's in Super Mario Brothers because those had very bare bones things. Yeah. Also, most importantly, above all, it doesn't work live. That is what I will say most is it doesn't work live. Yeah, Mm -hmm. like a lot of the problem with turning a Mario RPG into a movie is, is... it's really hard to abridge a like 30, 40, 50 hour. I don't know how much, how many hours each one of them are, but that long of a game into a two hour movie. Yeah. Well, it's not just that it, it's, it's just like live action. It, they're not suited to that. They've always been about their style. Like all of those RPGs have sort of reveled in their own style. If really, all the games, games kind yeah. of want to stay within that animated, cartoony world where the clouds have eyes, the bushes have eyes. Well, like, ha- the clouds are bushes and the bushes eyes. are clouds, yeah. Now, yeah. Haven't there been any, like, rumors, at the very least, of a, of a Mario movie actually being so, made? There is yeah, another one. Yeah, there is a, yeah, that one's animated. Yeah. Uh, the one that's in development is animated. Okay. Well, I mean, I mean that's, that, there it is. Like, you, you need you need to have this anime. It's interesting to see this attempted in in live action, but we've we've attempted Mario in live action a few times, and we never get anything good out of it. But you don't mm-hmm. want to do the Mario? I'm not hey, by the name of Sorry. Captain Lou Albano. <laughs> I mean, it's just like drugs. The Super Mario Brothers movie first, you die and then you go to hell, then you die. Yeah. God. Uh, it's... Consult your local priest or rabbi. Mm-hmm. Also, Lola, when in the program do we want to talk about the director? Director, uh, yeah, we'll hold off. Yeah, uh, okay. we, we will definitely have to bring up because I know Torpo specifically brought up the thing that they did beforehand. Which yeah. also makes a lot of sense in terms of the of styling sense, yeah. of this movie. Um, 
Um, so yeah, like o- overall, like I I enjoy this for how you know off the ball, kind of weird and sort of wacky it is. But I completely recognize that this is not a good movie. Mm-hmm. There is a wacky charm to it. Yeah, I disagree. Yep. Well, in that case, because you're grumpy. <laughs> <laughs> wow, you, you got me. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Colonel Grump. I've been owned. Colonel Grump. Well, Orbit Grumpus. Well, in that case, Torpo, what what are your thoughts? I was I'm bored there. to fucking tears. I I am not kidding when I say I passed out for ten to fifteen minutes, and that was at the desert bit because that was boring as shit. The whole movie is just uninteresting. Like wait, incredibly did they add a bunch to the desert bit? Yes. Yes. Well, not no, no, they, they didn't have much of that. It. it was just when they got to that point, I was already fading fast. Oh, okay. But like, just like, in oh. general, it is a movie with no flow to it. Shit just keeps happening, and then it ends. Is is the way I would describe it? Because they just kind of bumblefuck their way into defeating Bowser. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But, like, it, with modified super scopes, like yeah, the super scopes. Yeah, in a really fucked and up bomb. way. It's true. They turn them into primordial ooze, and it's incredible. Up. Yeah. I actually forgot how the movie ended. Yeah. <laughs> and no, we it's... watched it yesterday. I know. Uh, it's like God, they, they also spend like the first half hour establishing that they're fucking plumbers. Yeah. They just go about their lives as plumbers for like the first solid like twenty to thirty minutes of the movie, and then the, the other shit happens. Did we ever like actually uh, reconcile the Scapitelli no. plotline? No, 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 actually, yes. Remember, he got devolved into a chimp. Yeah. Okay. And I just left it at that because, like, obviously the the evolution slash devolution guns got sent back to the Mushroom Kingdom. So, so yeah, it kind of got resolved, kind of not. Yeah. And then there's a sequel. Yeah, hook. yeah there was. Yeah, a they had the sequel the hook. Movie. Shut the fuck up. No, we don't talk. No, there, there, no, there never was a sequel. So we're we're fine there. The animated ones, that's a sequel. They've. Re- oh, yeah, no, it's it's really yes. under interesting. Also, something they didn't mention, the other people, is it's fucking gross. Oh it's yeah, just gross. Press the fungus. There is a oh, yes. lot of goop. There's a There's lot, a of, lot goop, of goop. A lot of fungus. It's just nasty. Goop. It's just the fungus. Movie. I don't think we needed, but the grunge of the dark version of Brooklyn, the Mushroom Kingdom, I think is pretty rad in terms of its design. I mean, it just looked like Brooklyn. I don't, yeah. I don't know how it was the dark Brooklyn, Brooklyn but with little but it dinosaurs. Exactly yeah, exactly like Brooklyn. Brooklyn with more fungus and more dinosaurs. There you go. Also, they did nothing with the dinosaur thing either. Yeah. yeah. Also, there were like no Koopalings or anything like that. It was just King Koopa and also the Goombas, which were just people who were well. De-evolved. Well, there were two Koopalings. There were Spike. Yeah. And... Oh yeah, 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 yeah. They were just fucking people, though. Yeah, they but, were just well, people, but so was Dennis Offer. Well, also yes. Uh, also, if you because they don't really do anything to kind of um point it out but like if you look at like the elevator scene and like see the goombas chasing mario you will occasionally see a longer snouted goomba which i'm going to assume is a koopa troopa but they look there's barely any difference yeah it it just like moves from like kind of set piece to set piece so like there was you know the bit with the dancing that just kind of happened and then went and then there was the elevator bit which just happened and then went there's also the slide, which had spliced in footage with a very obvious blue screen in the background. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <yes. laughs> that was that was the second best one. Yeah, that was the second best one. It was just it's it's. Uh... Oh yeah, that's right. There was also spliced in footage of the two Koopalings rapping. That was weird. Yeah, I I could have honestly lived the rest of my life having not seen that scene. Oh, God, I feel like I got off I easy though. You, <laughs> you, you missed some gloriousness. There is like the blue screen bit's funny. The rap is very. It is. Well, this was the nineties, wasn't it? Say cringe. Yeah. Just say it. It's okay. Yeah, it's it's very. It's and then there was cringe. the one that we actually thought was funny. It was somebody's facial expression for like five seconds. I forgot. Oh my god, I forgot. 
It was the only oh, one where we oh actually liked it. Oh my god, I it. forgot! <laughs> the only good part of the movie, we forgot it. But yeah. I completely fucking forgot. <laughs> I have a bad memory, so... Also, they did Toad really fucking dirty. Yep. Yeah, Toad got fucking dirty yeah. in this movie. Mm-hmm. God. Yeah, I just, I just I really didn't enjoy the movie at all. Did I hate it? No, because that requires feeling anything about it. <laughs> Outside of yeah. raw and yielding boredom. Um, also, well... Hate requires guess... some modicum of passion, which I lack <laughs> any of for this movie. Uh, oh. Also, one other thing I do want to mention. Why is Luigi the main character? Because, I don't know. Luigi's why is, Mansion! Why is John Leguizamo the main character? <laughs> Also, okay, why is John Leguizamo Luigi? I, I mean, because he's taller than Bob Hoskins. I, yes, I mean, he has no mustache. Bob Hoskins is a perfectly fantastic yeah. actor and could easily lead a movie. But yeah, yeah. but also Mario shorter than Luigi. Check made it. But, John Leguizamo is fucking annoying in every role he's in. I think for John Wick. Okay, well, the, the, fine. One, one fucking roll. <laughs> also, just to, to put the asterisks on that, John Leguizamo is good in John Wick because he gets the living shit kicked out of him. Exactly. No, he's yeah. also actually not really doing a whole lot in that movie aside from helping out Keanu. I don't, for, I don't hate John Leguizamo. I know I'm saying that as if John Leguizamo might be listening to this podcast. I don't but hate the was, guy though. personally. I just don't like his <laughs> acting. <laughs> I, I feel bad for John Leguizamo. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't hunt me down, John Leguizamo. Um, uh, he did the pest. I can hate him all I want. <laughs> yeah. He also did Spawn. I can also hate him for that, too. <laughs> yeah. But, God, he was yeah. in Wong Fu. Thanks for everything, Julie. Not- this, this movie sucked. It sucked a lot. And, yeah. like, it added new characters, too. Like, what was it, Lita, who was, like, kind yeah. of... Kind like, of okay, but also like the bouncer. It the yeah, the Bertha bouncer is also no presence. Yeah, she, the bouncer like she, doesn't even speak uh, speak mm-hmm. much, and they steal the scenes. Yes, yeah. it's just like she's barely there for any of the movie. Yeah, but when she's there, she's fucking there. Yep, she's powerful. She but is. Uh, yeah, no, like Lita was kind of interesting too, and in her constantly being at odds with Bowser, but even not even much results of that except she gets brutally fucking murdered i'm kind of wondering if for some reason that just by the way her normal like design is if she was trying to be like a weird uh like stand-in for kamek or like a magic koopa maybe i don't know if uh definitely kamek wasn't a thing yet in 1993 i'm pretty sure um, yeah like Was i think kamek in three the Kamek was in no. uh, Yoshi's Island. Yeah. Um, as Kamek, but there's also Magic Koopas in World, which this obviously has stuff from World in because Yoshi's in it. Uh, yeah. Who doesn't well, really Yoshi, do a whole lot. Yoshi also has his own game on the Nintendo. But that was after World came out. Was mm-hmm. it? Yoshi, yeah. Yoshi didn't, didn't do much. He was just a shitty little dinosaur who yeah. just grabbed Lita by the ankle at one point, and that's about it, and then got stabbed. Yeah. Yeah, Yoshi but, got uh, stabbed. <laughs> Yoshi got fucking stabbed. Yeah. And, like, Bowser also kind of sucked. <laughs> yeah. He it was, was Dennis he Hopper was, being Dennis Hopper. Yeah, Rest which would be Dennis fine. Hopper. Which would be fine. But, like, as an actual Bowser, he doesn't really amount to much. Also, he gets put on the de-evolution machine and nothing came of it, really. Yeah. That was a weird one. Like, yeah. They, they part, had a part of it. everything and did nothing with it. I think part of it is that he was in the the Devo machine for about all of one second. So it just made him more primal and angry. Yeah, the yeah, only thing was like because he 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 did experience uh, like he did he did uh, state that he was feeling more invigorated after spending that time in there. So he he had devolved slightly, but not enough to actually make much of a difference. That said, I will say uh, I appreciate that they took uh, their experience with Max Headroom and just decided to make him the villain. Yeah, so yeah. That's... <laughs> because both of the dire- both of the directors worked on Max Headroom. Yeah, that's yep. the thing. Is the that, yes. Yep, uh, Max Headroom 
that Annabelle Jankel and Rocky Borden, one of the other things they did before, like the main thing they did before this was Max Headroom, which you can definitely. OG VTuber. Yes. Mm-hmm. I'll stand by this. I mean, you're right. <laughs> um, God. Um, yeah. Indeed. Anything yes. else? No, I I didn't I didn't enjoy this movie. All right, Axe, what do you think? Okay, so before I give my impression, I wanted to look this up because it was bothering me, and I could remember in the back of my brain reading somewhere that Mario Mario was the canonical name of Mario after this movie came out. Yeah, so I looked it up, and apparently, two months. After Iwata passed away, rest in peace, uh, Miyamoto decided to, to state uh, unequivocally that uh, his official full name is indeed Mario Mario, one of Miyamoto's greatest crimes. As for this movie, <laughs> as also, for this movie. Hmm? I was going to say, what, just the, what other thing about that that's also weird to think about when you think about Super Mario Brothers? I'm pretty sure that's also the interviews where it's like, yeah, Mario's like 25. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, no. No, he's no. not. He looks like he's in no. his like forties. No. Yeah. No. He's. He's. There's no way. Fuck. He's funny. No. Nah, yeah. I don't. I don't buy that. But um, as far as this movie, so like I, I kind of thought about what I said before about you know you can't take the characters out to be a completely different movie, and and I got understand the argument because we have this a, the similar thing that we've all said about Resident Evil, the first movie by uh, Paul W. S. Anderson. If you took out all of the Resident Evil shit, it's a fairly decent horror movie. And, and I think that's kind of a general consensus, at least maybe amongst us. Um, if you took out any of the Mario elements of this movie, it wouldn't fucking matter because it's still terrible. It's still bad. It's still uninteresting. Nothing happens. The sets are awful. The characters are awful. The story is awful. Um, you got Dennis Hopper. You get Dennis fucking Hopper as a villain. Dennis Hopper is a good actor. He is an interesting actor. He's an entertaining actor. They did nothing with him the entire movie. They just kind of let him sort of flitter about the 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 this uh, set and say some things, but it never really congeals. It never comes together into something that is remotely entertaining. And that's a shame because I like Dennis Hopper. As, as an actor, I think he's fantastic. Um, and you've got Bob Hoskins, another fantastic actor. They do so much little with him. Um, and they put the spotlight on John Leguizamo's character for some reason. Um, and he's the one who gets the girl. Yeah. I mean, yeah. speaking, Mario already had the girl, but that's a different situation. Yeah, yeah. he had a different girlfriend. He had a... Why can't you let Mario have two girlfriends, you cowards? Molecules. But, um... The other thing is, is like, okay, we're doing a live action version of a game series that takes place in a fantasy setting. There's castles, there's rolling hills, there's haunted houses, there's all these kinds of fucking things going on. Look, and what did they go with? Well, what if we did Brooklyn, but more, look, more mushrooms? Everyone knows Brooklyn isn't real. <laughs> Brooklyn <laughs> isn't real. idiot. Manhattan is. I once was lost in Manhattan. Brooklyn is, in, like... in fact, an SCP. <laughs> yes, <laughs> that exists to perpetuate the concept of Brooklyn. But um, they, they just—it's such a hacky movie, like such a low effort. We like we had this great series with all these cool, interesting things. Let's just put it in another city. Yeah, it's actually, so can, lame. Can we talk really quick about the boots, the fucking moon shoes they got? The yeah, for all the single scene to jump away. And then never really used again, except to hurl them at somebody. Yeah, I mean, like it, that's that's a good like metaphor for the entire movie. It introduces a thing, and then the thing is gone. It introduces a thing, thing is gone. We get a cool character like the bouncer. Does she get a lot of lines? No. Does she get a lot of screen time? No. But she's a cool character. We want to see more of. And that's what this movie really is. It's fleeting moments of interesting ideas that go nowhere. And it's a frustrating movie because of that, because there's so much they could have done with it. They could have had more characters from the series. Instead, they have the Goombas, who don't even look like Goombas. Uh, they look like lizards, and I'm pretty sure the Goombas were actually more mushroomy in the games. Um, so, yeah, like, they get that wrong. 
Uh, Yoshi's in it, but Yoshi's this diminutive little dinosaur that, like Torpid said, only exists really to grab the ankle of the villain at one point and then get ganked, and that's about it. Ganked to shit. Mm-hmm. And again, another example. Yoshi appears very briefly, is gone. It's just fleeting moments of better things that never come together. Um, and like I mentioned in the introduction, some very unfortunate video of the tr- World Trade Center fucking disintegrating. And which being ruined, it was... Aged mm. so perfectly <laughs> bad. Fucking evergreen. God, it, it is, is so it awful. Is, it's also great considering what's happening in two days as of recording. Oh dear, right. Yeah, we're, yeah. We're two to, as of recording, we're two days from September 11th. Not I only the 20th, the 20th anniversary of September 11th, too. Yeah. But, like, uh, this movie was more... Fr- I, I, like... This is definitely not the worst film I've ever seen. I've watched some really awful films. I'm a horror fan. I've watched some really awful films. Um, But, like, I wouldn't consider this the worst thing I've ever seen, but it's definitely n- nowhere near good. It's nowhere near mediocre. It's just an extremely piss poor production that wastes all of the talent it has excluding John Leguizamo um, and wastes every opportunity it 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 shows also uh, there is one other talent that's in here that I feel should be mentioning because he's in the movie for a grand total of like 10 seconds Lance Hendrickson's in this movie as King Bowser yeah, oh, yeah. famous King actor Bowser, Lance Hendrickson you mean- King Koopa. I mean, yeah. King, King, King Mushroom. King, King well, Mushroom. So King Toadstool. IMDb lists him as King Bowser. So I don't know. Wow. If it's maybe King they Toadstool. screwed it up. Yeah, it's King yes. Toadstool. It's definitely it's King Toadstool. No but, one right. at IMDb cares about this movie. It's, it's the f- the fungus among us. Also, yeah, the really fungus other that weird was things. Us. Like everybody yeah. gets de-evolved into like dinosaurs and primordial goo. And also, like, everyone down there is born from eggs, including including Princess Daisy. Why did he turn into a mushroom? Don't worry about it. Yeah. In the sort also, of consistency, I'll just throw that in there, too. I, I do want to say one more thing, which <laughs> that I was just reminded of, about my whole statement that shit happens and then it ends, is the bob bit. Where they have the oh, yeah. bob Yeah, they the bob in action, immediately falls off. And then Rube Goldberg's its way into defeating Bowser while they're just fucking around doing other shit. Yeah. yeah. And that's the other thing, too. You mentioned this, and, and I agree, and, and it bears repeating, that all the action, all of the direction of the characters is extremely aimless. And they don't actually utilize their skills, their intuitiveness, or any kind of power whatsoever to actually defeat King Koopa. It's just a lucky set of I mean, of they don't have powers. They're just... Yeah, plumbers. they don't have powers. But but even still, like, you know, maybe they could have used their plumber's intuition to, like, mess with the pipes so that it could knock them out or something like that. Well, like, they did. They, they sabotaged the tower. Really. Well, they sabotaged the tower, but they also stopped the explosions. Uh earlier on in the movie. So, like, they didn't actually, like... Th- nothing they did actually directly led to Bowser's defeat. It was just lucky circumstances coming together, and then, you know, the end. It's, yeah. just, it's a really disjointed, frustrating film. And, I, and that's the word I would use to, to describe the film. It's not necessarily bad, frustrating. Because there are some interesting ideas buried within, and some interesting stuff that comes up every now and then, but it's gone so fast, you don't even fucking care. Mm-hmm. Like I said, I have fucking opinions about this movie. Like, I don't hate it, you know? Uh, and for a different reason than Torpids. It's, uh, you know, I, 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 I save my hate for something that's, like, particularly egregious or just offensively nasty. And this is not that. This is not maliciously bad, you know? It's just incompetent on, on a level that makes it barely watchable at, at an hour 40 minutes, let alone the completely unnecessary, but, you know, preservation needed uh, scenes that were added in the version we watched. And that yep. is my views. Yeah. No, as I said, hate requires passion, and this wishes it could ev- evoke any sort of emotions from me. And it really didn't mm-hmm. do anything worthy of hate, really. It's just yeah. incompetent. No, it's just boring. It's, it's incompetent in a very 
boring way, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Like, no, I, I can agree with that. Yeah. It's uh, like how yeah. everyone is saying it was boring. What does that say about me who actually enjoyed the, the, the I movie? I mean, you can like bad shit out there. Someone who likes Daikatana. So I, I, to, for that specific thing, I would probably say, um, <laughs> hey, Stifler. not, it, it's very much taste. Yeah. I mean, I can say it's like not to bring up this again because it's the more <laughs> jarring thing I think of this. Um, but it's the uncut gem scenario where mm. you have all of us who really enjoyed the film and one other person who didn't. Yeah, I wonder who that <laughs> fucker was. Oh, uh, still fucking like angry about it. <laughs> <laughs> fucking pissed about but it. To, they to die. The, the, the point of that being is that sometimes <laughs> you just feel differently. Sometimes you're yeah. the outlier. And and that's been a that's been a thing on all um, a lot of the uh, these episodes. Is you know, sometimes someone's like on the outside of where everybody else is. And that's I'll never. Yeah, I, I, I do tend I do tend to play devil's advocate on a lot of the things that it, I am on the panel for. It is the way that I would describe these rankings, like especially and also just some of these like things. The, basically, the higher it is, more I would never call these like a like the things in one. The one, things in one I would always say are you will have an incredibly likely chance that you are going to like whatever, like, it's yeah. basically, you're almost guaranteed to like it. But you're not always guaranteed to like it. I could see someone who would not like Raiders of Lost Ark. I could see someone who would not like Redline. Yeah, Obviously, those people fine. are wrong, but that's fine. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, I mean, it's, I mean it's, like, I don't like Indiana Jones, so that's fine. It's it's a free world, and people are completely free to be wrong about things. It's okay. But yes. like, I'll, I'll I'll put a finest point on it. I know two people, offhandedly. I know two people who like Time in Eternity, and that's that's where I'm going to leave it. All right. <laughs> <laughs> or you could be like me and just have a sick fascination with certain terrible things. Like, I mean, it's it is fascinating. It's still fucking terrible, and it was it's, still a huge yeah. waste of my life. Yeah, twenty six like, hours. Like, let me tell you about my fucked up relationship with 12 minutes at this point. <laughs> mm -hmm. You need to uh, let it go, Torben. No. <laughs> okay. okay, I think once we've hit the... <laughs> okay, I'm not going to... No, we don't need to talk about 12 minutes Let's here. Let's not get into it my here. Next yeah, did, once we've hit... Once we've That'll hit be that. another I'm fucking hour. Horizon. Right now, I'm what? fighting myself. Once Just we've hit the event horizon, where I think... Does anyone have any final thoughts that I think we need to rank? We need to rank now. I I did enjoy the uh, the wall texture in that one oh, yeah. office. Yeah, Mario sixty four like, stole the idea from this movie. Yeah, like not like in, in the, uh, the well. I mean, there's also that. There's the fact that they pass through the rock wall, and that's where that's wall, why wall, in Mario sixty four you pass through paintings to go into levels. Now, I meant the the wall in that one office. I. I think it was Koopa's office. It's basically designed to look like some of the wall textures in Mario 3. I don't even oh, think yeah, I noticed and we, that. And we we did actually get a little bit of video game in this. When they go into the one pipe and we get the pipe noise. Very yeah, when they go on a slip and slide on the yeah. fucking... Yeah, no, no, it's terrible. Um, mm -hmm. Also, yeah, they, they did mention one other thing uh, in the comments. Uh, which is uh, that the, the Koopalings, the two Koopalings, uh, get evolved at one point, and then they just start speaking in big words and are insufferable. Oh, yeah. 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 They're not even, yeah, like, that... intelligent. They're just, they read a dictionary. Good for them. That, that's how you tell how someone is smart, right? They start using every single big word that they, could, that they possibly can. Yeah, yeah they, like, they, mean... like they, 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 I... they evolved into, like, they, they're all... Lizard people, I mean, they, they evolved the into thesauruses. Would, would yeah, you say I that they evolved like into they... thesauruses? That's exactly oh, what I said. Like, also, um, also, reason what you're saying? As Turbo said, they do become avowed uh, Marxists after becoming smart. Too. <laughs> yeah, it's 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 very much the thing of they bumped the instat. They did not bump the wisdom stat. Yeah. Yeah, no, I mean, final final thoughts are uh, it could have been something interesting and it fails all the way through. Mm -hmm. 
It is a mm-hmm. frustrating jumbled mess that is not worth watching. Um, I'm a fan of the scene where the woman who is like Bowser's wife, Lita, yeah, Lena, uh, tries to like you know fix the meteorite and gets oh it yeah to the wall and John Leguizamo is just like well she does leave an impression. <laughs> She's nope. there at the end too when you we re, 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 go to that scene and they walk through and the skeleton's still in the wall. I thought that was hilarious. Yeah. You um, know that I think about it. I wonder if these are the lizard people that are trying to take over the world. Yes. The conspiracy theories. There's right. your conspiracy Illumin- theory for you. The Illuminati will be run by Dennis Hopper. All right. <laughs> I think I think we're good to rank at this point. Yes. So we're going to use our normal 1 to 21 ranking system with this, with 1 being pretty much cl- as close to perfect as you can get. Obviously, some slight, I mean, it's not perfect, but it's it's pretty damn good. Uh, and 21 being pretty garbage, like, it, you can get very little ironic enjoyment out of it. Um, so, X, what is your number? Z, if you have a scale. <laughs> uh... I'm going to go with a flat 19. Like I said, not the worst thing I've ever seen. There's some glimmer of interest in it, but other than that, it's not worth watching. All right, cool. Yeah. I know it's not going to get this high, but uh, <laughs> I like if it was up to me, I would I would put it at around 13. Like, I'm, right. I'm not going to fight it if everyone else gives it much lower than that, but I would put it around there. All right, Risen. Um, I don't know, fourteen, fifteen, somewhere in there. All right, Turbo. I think I'll stick with the ranking I gave it during the movie, which is sixteen. All right. Because so, like, really quick, I th- I really did not like Dick Tracy, but I thought stylistically <laughs> it was better. But like, also, I I just uh, I I would not go lower than seventeen at the very least because. Beneath that is the other Super Mario Brothers thing, which is markedly worse, and Parappa. So, I, so just to just to give a point of what I just did, because I was going to go into the pins to see if I could pull up the list again, and I forgot what I had pinned in the peanut gallery chat. What did you pin? It threw me off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. For those, for those listening at home, Torpid uh, posted back in July a poorly drawn image of Grimace from the McDonald's Corporation oh, ass. with a redonkulous ass saying, what Ron Ronald could Could it be you're craving my McNuggets? Yeah, my McNuggies. My McNuggies. McNuggies. Yeah. McNuggies. 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 <laughs> <laughs> so that uh, is what Lolo saw when he checked the pin. That's not, that's not what I was looking for. <laughs> Most people aren't looking for that, yeah. You, you, were, you were looking for the media Delta chat post where we see the mouth within a mouth from the Teenage Mutant No, that's Ninja not Turtles what I was looking for either. Most people got to go to church to get that kind oh, of I salvation. Still, I still have the ranking of shmups list in the Pete, micro yeah, rod. Right. Otherwise that. known as looking for love in all the wrong places. I was I was looking for the ranking list is what I was looking for. It's, Screw it, I'm just going to post. Oh. R3.ldp.life, fool. Yeah, I didn't feel like typing it out. <laughs> Clearly, that was my problem. You shouldn't. Yeah. You don't even fucking want to type it in. I know I did it, so <laughs> I know I pinned it for that reason. And then I, 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 I betrayed myself. No, but I love the fact that you bought, you bought the fucking domain and you didn't want to type it in. There you go, you fucking lazy <laughs> son of a bitch. <laughs> Here I am to wipe your ass for you. <laughs> To be fair, holy shit! I didn't have to buy that. Subdomains are free. I had the domain already. <laughs> anyway, no. um, so I had written down a a range. I was thinking between fifteen and eighteen. Um, which puts it at stuff like there's at fifteen we got Dick Tracy Salamander and the eventual little penguin. Um, Salamander is almost a kind of similar kind of situation because it is an adaptation granted it's also it's also animated so you have a little bit more leeway uh it is an adaptation of something that probably didn't need adaptation to begin with 
Also, it is something that when you put them all together is about each of those are 50. So that's going to be over like two and a half hours of things that that also had a lot of stuff that did not need to happen. <laughs> and <sighs> special Lola Penguin is just weird. But also Dick Tracy. I feel like Lola Penguin's still too high. It might be, actually. I know we went. Uh, we're going to have to rewatch Lola the Penguin soon. No. <laughs> no, God, no. no I know we already. Geez. I know no, we already doesn't... went over it during the uh, first annual re-ranking of. Yeah, and then we have the second one, which I have penciled in the schedule already. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, right, gonna, my... say that's way too high. My official stance is that Super Mario Brothers is better than Lola the Penguin. Yeah. All right. Which is um, why it, it needs to go lower. I, as I say, I think I think Lola the Penguin is the issue here, not my yeah, brothers, not, the, but... not the number, because I feel like fifteen and uh, Dick Tracy and Salamander are good fifteens. Yeah. yeah. Um. Also, at sixteen, we got Fatal Fury, the motion picture. I remember that being at least a little bit more, a lot more interesting than this. It's just kind of bad. Mm-hmm. It was bad, but shit happened. Um. Also, just to go up, just to explain. Um, for 14, we have the Batman, 1989 Batman movie and Mega Man Upon a Star. I feel like those are definitely better yeah. than mm-hmm. Agreed. this. I think that this is better than Sonic Sad Am, though. So that would put it either in the same thing as Sonic Christmas Was and Sad Am, which is 17. Mm-hmm. Yeah, shitting on yeah. Sad Am again, I see. I mean, we bumped it up at one point. We could be meaner. <laughs> yeah. I mean,. I, I can now looking at the list. I I think I'll switch mine to the range of sixteen to eighteen because it it falls in that range. And Lola yeah. the Penguin should be around nineteen. <clears throat> you know, I probably would. So right there, just one thing I do want to like specifically call out at eighteen is that other Super Mario Brothers thing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That almost hmm. is it better or worse than the live action? I'd have to think about that because that also has a problem of things just kind of happening um, that really don't need to. Also, it's a really weird ass soundtrack, which this live action movie also kind of has. Yeah, I remember we mentioned the soundtrack a number of times throughout the film. It's completely all over the place. Wildly inconsistent. Mm-hmm. I mean, 17. You know, if you if, I mean... Maybe this movie was a little more competent than the animated film, as incompetent as it is. Uh, what all is that in seventeen? Is that the two Sonic stuff? Yep, just I kind of. Sonic. And also, so Pride for the Rapper is also another problem of trying to do a thing that had like. There's your Paper Mario analogy of what happens when you try and do something that has a very distinct style mm. in an animated form, at least the way they did it. Uh, that one was also criminally boring. <laughs> Give like, Mario to Pixar. That's that's my solution. They go into Illumination, if I remember correctly, for the new animated one. So yeah, Maybe. it's cutie. Yeah, but yeah. So I I think that's a good uh, that's a good range. Mm-hmm. Shuffle a couple of things around, but I'd say this movie fits in the sixteen to eighteen range. I in you know, that thing, I kind of feel like seventeen is probably the good spot for that. Then yeah, I can dig that. Okay, that terrible Sonic show. Mm-hmm. I mean, if, to be fair, it's also let's, season let's, one. Let, let's sit down and rank season two. It's a lot more consistent than season one. <laughs> a- actually, yes, because I do remember the budget going up, but also that's a while ago. I'm only also, doing it to annoy Coolio. Uh, you like doing that, don't you? Um, Why would you be mean to Coolio? I love Coolio. Honk. <laughs> 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 All right. Oh, it's go punk yourself. That that's my that's my gooseness punk. Hey, puppet pack clam. What day is it? <laughs> it's punk day. Punk. All right. So there's that. Uh, this did get a theatrical release. Uh, genre. Suck. I uh, suck. Action comedy. Comedy, or at least it's trying to be. Put an asterisk next to comedy. Wikipedia calls it an action comedy. Are you going to argue with Wikipedia, Lolo? Yes. <laughs> um, I mean, it... So this is epic. Wait, what? It... Okay, I have a tone in here that I don't know what it is. Oh, musical. Musical, that's what it is. 
I was like, what is M U what is M S C L? I'm like, why is muscular? Hell yeah, yeah, it's muscle. <laughs> no, it's musical. Mm-hmm. Which That's actually movie. Um Super not to awesome. not to, to give a little uh taste of something that'll happen uh next quarter's um retro relief. I have I have thought of the movies that we're gonna be doing for that. Ooh. Okay. Um, but I'll I'll explain that after. Um I don't see muscle that muscle. It's uh, we haven't had a musical though. Okay, okay. Uh, I'm Maybe just gonna put I'm just gonna put action just for lack of just so I can put something down in the whimsical. I think we'll it's a tone. Once we do Mary Poppins. Um, no, there's actually there is a there is a musical movie that I have in there that is it's definitely a musical and it's definitely video, semi video game related. Mm. You have my attention. Jim Steinman's a really good musician. Mm-hmm. Uh, anyways, <laughs> there. Damn it. <laughs> no. Okay. Tarbo knows what we're doing. Or uh, anyway. awake again. Uh, yeah. Uh, so, is there anything we want to call out in musical, charm, cinematography, storytelling, action, and art? It's gross. I mean, I, I would, I would posit that it's, it's kind of campy. I don't know yeah. about you guys. The music is campy and fun. There's yeah. tracks out there, and the original score is serviceable. I could. Eh, I, 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 don't, disagree. I don't know if I'd give a ch- like. There are some campy elements. I like. I could put in yay camp ish. Yeah, I have. A, I have a feeling there's not going to be any more yays for it. So I having have, a longer I, yay is fine. I actually. Yeah. I can't really think of anything to specifically call it. Well, yes, actually, art. I do think that the art is not the great. The visual style is very good, yeah. <laughs> or, I I think it's really gross, and I did not enjoy it. You know what? I'm going to... You know what? Okay, do you have, like, a little tag favorite. for controversial? Uh, In what way? Well, like, me... Oh, uh, yes, we do. We don't like yes, we do. it, but Torpo thinks it's disgusting. Yep, we have one. It is the shrug. Um, thumbs down for music because it makes no fucking sense and it felt out of place. I, yes, even though I do like the Walk the Dinosaur being in it's there. It's a good song, but it doesn't belong in this movie. It does belong in this movie because it's a bit of all dinosaurs. <laughs> But out. Don't who's make me fight. Played, you. <laughs> somebody who's played one of the Saints Row games where they had talking <laughs> dinosaurs also sing that Shut song. The fuck up, <laughs> I swear to God, I will reach through the internet. Saints Row learn from their betters here. Also, oh God, what am I even call it for? I do think we need a gross tag, but I need to figure out what. Because it's not, it's not graphic depiction of bodily functions. I don't have just general grody tech. It's just slime everywhere. E for ew. That works. Yeah, let's just do that, and I'll have to. I will have to remember to put that in, in knowing full well that I'm going to forget about two minutes from now. Hmm. Um. Lee, what? What about? Well, I don't know if this would fit, but unsettling imagery is W. Oh, actually, yes, that's much better. Fuck you, Coolio. <laughs> Um, see, see that what I was thinking was like ew is E W. So is there something at W? I'm cool. Yes, I think thing. better than Axe. <laughs> All right, you know, cool, it, I'm kind of impressed by your line of thinking. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, You're I can't, not, I can't, I can't, uh, I can't argue against it. You can't, but it's, I want to. Yeah. <laughs> No, it's it's W. It's not you. You is on so unflattering <laughs> stereotypes. Mm-hmm. Oh wait, what? It's oh, it's W. w. Okay. Yeah. Okay. There. All right. Uh, just if put to Renee's. Renee's put that length in there right off the bat. Yeah. Uh, also, I get since I literally put one of us to sleep when I put the oatmeal. <laughs> uh, shoehorn game elements might oh. be one. Yeah. Uh, actually, it's okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, can we can we go well, past three? So here's the other thing: is maybe do we want do we want to do oatmeal or do we want to do the snail? Snail. I want to say oatmeal because I I don't like 
I don't think the problem was pacing. It was just like picking the right thing I mean, and then issue, doing it. So like to be pro- fair, like, yeah, it was a pacing problem in the sense that there was none. It was, as I said, it meandered horribly from start to finish. Mm-hmm. And it just kind of ended because it felt like they ran out of time. Mm-hmm. But I don't know if I would call that a pacing issue more than just a direction issue. Yeah. I think it's very different from, like, saying, like, well, you know, like, that's the, the, the whole mid part of Giver. That was definitely a pacing issue because they just didn't know when to move on to something better. This it just moves on repeatedly to new, to new ideas and does nothing with them. At least that's my argument. Mm-hmm. That's fair. I mean, so here's the thing I would say. I think it's a. I think having the snail and oatmeal. I for the un for the shoehorned in elements. I don't think there was enough to justify it. Yeah, it's no. not. It's not mm-hmm. like um, what was I like? It wasn't like the which actually, if anything, we should put it on Rescue the Princess Peach because that had really weird sound effects from the games just shoehorned in random places. Yeah. And this had like two uses of game sound effects. Yeah. Now, also, they the, the people behind the Morton Jankel cut for some reason at the very end added a like a rendition of the Mario Bros. theme. Mm. Yeah, not but sure that, what that was about. I think they just did that because it's like, oh, hey, there should at least be the the music in there at least once. Probably yeah. also because you know the. It was a lot longer of a scene, like a lot longer with the cutout stuff. Yeah. All right. I think I think this is good for the 1993 Super Mario Brothers movie. Uh, it is not a good movie. Um, but it's not the worst. It's a movie. There is worse. There is Doom, for example. Yeah. 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 Doom just yeah. wastes your fucking time even more. And also so, eugenics. Yes. So if you want to watch a shitty video game movie, this might be just what you're looking for. Yes. Mm-hmm. The wasn't live this action one. one. Of, wasn't yeah, this one of the standards first... are appallingly low enough. Uh, wasn't first this one, one of what? The, one of the first video game adaptation films. Uh, movies, yes. Yeah, that's what I'm, I'm saying. Yeah, because uh, Double Dragon, I think, would come out relatively soon after this. And then Street Fighter was the year, uh, the year after. So, yeah, this kind of started it, if I remember correctly. It's had a budget of forty two to forty eight million dollars. <laughs> it made it work at the box office. It made thirty nine million. Great. I'm surprised it made that much. Yeah, really. Same. Complete flop. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, with that, that is going to do it for Super Mario Brothers. So before we head out, X or anything you want to plug? Yep, the Autistic Self-Advocacy Network. Uh, Koyo? Uh, first, there is my uh, radio show slash podcast, Square Wave Symphony, your home for video games, shiptoons, and all things weird and geeky. That is available at lowbiasgaming.net slash squaresim. And I also occasionally uh, stream on my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash coolioMZX. All right, Risen. Um, hmm. Trying to think. Uh, come back to me. All right, Torpo. Twitch.tv slash Torpotypus and at Torpotypus on Twitter. <laughs> and I would like to plug the whole left in my fucking time by this movie. I'll never right. get it back. <laughs> Two hours gone forever, Torpo. Those are hours that I will never get back. Uh, Risen, did you think of something? I guess I have a Twitter at uh, risen underscore on underscore main, and I post painting there and complain about Warhammer. All right. Complain about Warhammer a lot, too. I do. All right. Um, So, yeah, uh, with that, uh, that is going to do it with this. So, um, as of the when this episode is going to go live, um, we... So when the next episode is going to go live, it will be October, which means that it's time to do spooky movies, yes. uh, which we spooky do the way movie. Media Delta schedule. We are doing two spooky movies this year. Yes. Uh, and the first one is one that um, yes. I've wanted to like, I, I know someone 
certain yes. someone, I don't know who wanted to do this. <laughs> yes. But also I did, too, because I am very curious about how similar this is to the um, thing, because the game Clock Tower uh, takes heavy inspiration from a movie called Phenomena, which is what Phenomena. we're going to be taking a look at. Phenomena. <laughs> 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 Yes. <laughs> Which also, also, that came from an Italian movie, except I think that one was a porn. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Phenomena by Dario Argento, a fantastic yes. Italian director. So that is what we're going to be doing next time, which is great. I have never seen it. I've only seen Suspiria, and I didn't like it. So we'll see how this goes. And to answer your question, extremely a lot. Great. Oh, wait. We're what you're watching Suspiria? Oh. No, we're watching no. Phenomena. Uh, <laughs> Would you like awesome. to watch Suspiria? I've seen no. Suspiria. Yeah, I finally I remember the barbed wire room. room. Suspiria. Yeah. I don't need the barbed wire room. Why is then, there a room full of barbed wire? Where the fuck else are you gonna put it? <laughs> <laughs> Next um, time, Dario Argento, yes! Yes, we're doing Phenomena, so hope you tune in for that. Yeah, I'm sure it'll be great, because I love horror movies, and yes, I do. Actually, I don't have a problem with a lot of them, but I just don't watch a whole lot of them. But anyway, that'll do it for that. So thank you all for listening. Bye-bye. Mm-hmm. Bye. 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 Do, 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 do. If you would like to see the list in which we have ranked every single thing we've done for Media Delta, you can go to r3.ldp.life in your browser. If you would like to watch the sister show that determines what could show up on Media Delta, that's Retro Rank Rhapsody, you can watch it live on Twitch at twitch.tv slash Puzzle, or on YouTube at youtube.ldp.life. If you would like to discuss this episode with others, please join our Discord server by going to discord.ldp.life in your browser, which should give you a link. Thank you again for listening.